So here's questions that men have wanted to ask, but they are afraid to ask. So we're going to answer it here on The Womanhood University. Hi guys, thank you for tuning back into The Womanhood University. So here's questions that men have wanted to ask, but they are afraid to ask. So we're going to answer it here on The Womanhood University. How does vagina sex feel? I know for every woman it's different. For me, I will say in the most classiest way, um, it depends on the size of the penis. It depends on the uh, the thrust, the way he's stroking you. Um, so if it's that way that you like it, I will say it feels, you feel full. Yeah, you feel full. Um, it's like a, a, a complete fullness inside of you and uh, you can absolutely feel the orgasms coming out you can feel the juices pushing out um it just feels like a a rub that you wanted to rub but you can't get to on your own <laughs> does every woman have a g-spot yes but a lot of women don't understand where it's coming from so you have to you know but every woman does have a g-spot and they still are trying to find research on this, but it, it's true. We do, we do. And um, depending on the type of vagina you have, because there are different types, your vagina can be, I mean, your G-spot can be one to three inches inside of the vaginal hole and is often at the top. So, do all vaginas appear or smell the same? No, no. Vagina is based off of your genetics, your pH balance, and your hygiene, the way that you take care of yourself. And also honorable mention, her diet. So all those four factors will give you that person smell. Um, I know women that smell like water. They have no type of smell. I know women that, you know, they, they possibly have a little, you know, that's when women say like, oh, vagina is supposed to smell like vagina. Like that is what they're referring to. They have like some type of smell there. Um, and smell can also vary. So if you're, you know, it can vary. Is, is a vaginal orgasm different from a clitoral orgasm? Absolutely. And I will tell you, the clitoral orgasm is the strongest, most satisfying, finishing orgasm of them all. So with a clitoral orgasm, you're going to literally, you have to penetrate the clitoris in order for you to orgasm. Now, the vaginal orgasm is basically when you're hitting up against the cervix and you'll get that cream or, you know, you'll see the shake. That is a vaginal orgasm. Um, that one can be finishing as well, but not often. It, it's not that strong. It's not as strong as the clitoral orgasm. Um, and that orgasm comes from penetration. So. Why do women have acne around the vaginal area? So that is nothing but shade bumps. Um, now, if it's a boil, that's a different thing. That means her lymph, her lymphatic system needs to be cleaned. But um, yeah, most of the time it's just shave bumps or like if she's using a shaver and, you know, not taking the proper steps after or some people just get shaved. They have sensitive skin and the outer layers of the bikini line can just break out. It's, it doesn't mean anything. It's just, that's just what it is. Just like how you guys shave your beards under here and get those um, bumps. That's pretty much the same thing. I know if guys were to shave often, they would get the same thing. So, but women, if you do have um, bumps down there, just aloe vera, coconut oil, turmeric, it'll be out of there. What feels better down there? penetration or oral sex so this answer is subjective I can't answer for other women but I will say um, working with women I know that it's 50 50 oral sex can be better depending on the man if that man knows how to eat pussy better but penetration can also feel better than the head it just depends on that person for me I think I would much rather oral than penetration um yeah oral to me feels nice i don't like <laughs> i won't want to detail it feels nice um penetration 
I can go without. Um, yeah, I don't like being entered all the time. I kind of like to preserve, preserve my body. Is getting waxed or shaved down there a horror scene for women? No, waxing hurts. Waxing hurts like hell, okay? The shit women go through to be beautiful. Waxing hurts like hell. Um, but no, it's, it doesn't, it's not like a painful, you know, it's not painful. It's just waxing, ugh, it hurts. Can you imagine all your hair being ripped off at once? It hurts. But when you raise, when you're shaving with a razor, it doesn't hurt at all unless you cut yourself. But that's it. After vaginal childbirth, does the female, does the vagina enlarge or stretch out? It has to go back to its size. I know we all know when uh, women have babies, the vagina goes to a 10 centimeter uh, circle. So uh, it does have to go back in size, but yes, it does go back in size. It will not stay. The vagina is a beautiful thing. It doesn't stay that size. It goes back in size, especially if she's healing the right way and doing her Kegels, it's gonna go right back to normal. Do women ever just randomly feel themselves down there like guys? can't speak for anybody else but I do I do I do it all the time I just find it so beautiful that I have a vagina I can't believe that I have it's just the most beautiful thing on the planet so yes yeah, sometimes I do um it just depends like most time when I'm in the bed or it's not just like random out in public or in the day it's like when I'm in bed or you know chilling of some sort but yes I love it I love it it's a gift to have one all right, so those were the 10 questions that guys wanted to <laughs> ask us women. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the Womanhood University. I hope you have a wonderful